Hello and welcome back. I'm Mystical. This is Mystical Gaming, and we're back into Watcher of Realms. Uh, we're going to have a look at healing today. You're going to see how that works and how healers actually do healing. We're going to be using Hollow as our main healer for this experiment. She has a single target heal, grants attack based healing to one ally in range. There will only be one ally, and it will be in range. That's good. Uh, attack based healing restores HP based on the target's max HP and the caster's attack. So, two things in that. Firstly, it's the heal would be dependent on how much attack the caster has, and secondly, on how much HP the recipient has. So we're running them both naked, obviously, so we don't want any other gear messing up what we've got. And we're just going to take them into the guild boss and see what happens without anything on, so we've got a baseline to work from. Now a couple of things are going to happen in this fight. Firstly, our paladin will go down first each time. Now she will be there to be attacked by the boss. The virtual claws will come down and hit the paladin. Then hollow will go down. Uh, the paladin will self-heal because she has a self-heal every 8 seconds, which heals her for 1,432. So when we see that arrive above her head, we know that's the paladin heal. Hollow will then come in and heal whenever there is the pixelated fire breath that attacks on both. Hollow will do two things. Firstly, she will heal herself, and then the next target will be the paladin she will heal. So we'll see two things. We'll see two heals from Hollow. We'll see the one on herself, and then the next one will be on the paladin. There's the fire breath. Paladin's healed. Hollow's healed. Hollow heals herself for the 1434. And now, as soon as her attack's ready again, it will go out and hit the paladin for 1915. There we go. That's what happens when they're both naked, and that's how eventually all the fights will run through. That is the order of what will be happening. So now we know how much they heal for when they're naked. We're going to put some gear on them. We're going to avoid things like attack and attack percentage and healing effect and all this sort of stuff because we just want certain attributes affected each time we go in. So this time is attack speed. Now, the thing to remember is when her attack is ready, if it's a heal, then it's just held there ready to be used. If there's no healing required, she just doesn't attack. So at the beginning of the fight with the boss, the boss attacks slower than every three seconds. Hollow's heal is at every three seconds normally. With the attack speed we put on it, we get it down to two seconds, and we'll see those in a minute. But we wait for the boss to attack. He attacks, there's some damage done, Hollow heals it, or the Paladin self heals, and then we wait again. There is a, a longer duration than three seconds, so nothing really happens in between. It's not until the shield comes up, and then when that duration goes because we haven't broken through the shield, the boss does his attack, there's a lot of damage that goes out that needs healing. It's then that the attack speed actually matters because you're getting more heals in per cycle. So here comes the big hit from the boss. Now screen on the left is no gear, screen on the right is attack speed. Now you can see the screen on the right, there you go, we've attacked again. Screen on the left, screen on the right is now attacked. Now they attack at the both, both at the same time. Now the screen on the right healed the paladin because she had already self-healed herself back up. That two second to three second gap is fairly noticeable in those instances. So after seeing how attack speed works, we're now taking that gear off. I'm going to be putting on some HP percentage gear onto Hollow to see how that affects it. What we're expecting is the heal that she does to herself after the virtual fireball. We're expecting to be increased, but the heal that she does onto the Paladin after the Paladin's been swiped by the pixelated claws should be the same. So... Healing the Paladin will be 1,915, which is the same, but on herself should be greater than the 1,424 that she used to heal for. So there's a Paladin down, there's a uh, Hollow down, and we're just waiting on the boss doing the virtual, the virtual fireball. There it is, and there we can see. So she healed that time for 1,544. So she does increase the healing on herself, waiting for the claw smack, and then she will heal the Paladin for 1915. There we are, as expected. So that's the advantages of having a greater HP. It affects how much you are healed, but not how much healing you do. 
So the next run is healing effect gear, and yes, I'm putting it on the paladin who would be the recipient of the heal, not hollow who will be doing the healing. So gear off hollow, gear onto paladin, chuck them in, and we are expecting the paladin who heals herself for 1432 that should be higher but the heals that hollow gives herself and the paladin we're expecting to remain the same so the first thing that happens will be the paladin will heal herself and it should be greater than the 1432 there's the burn there's the heal and that's gone up from the paladin happy days that's what we we're expecting now we have to hang around for the next one there's the swipe, there's the heal from the Paladin, and there's the heal from Hollow. That's back to the same, the 1915 like we expect. Now to put the healing effect stuff on the actual person we're expecting it to be used by, the healer. So this will up Hollow's healing, and the Paladin is back to being naked. So, chuck them back into the boss, and let's see what happens. So first thing down would be the fireball, so the paladin will heal herself, hollow will heal herself, and we're expecting hollow's first heal on herself to be greater than the 1,400, 1,008, so that's nice, that's gone up, and now after the claw strike, it should have gone up from the 1,9. So, come on dragon, virtual claws, go. There's the paladin heal, there's her heal, thank you very much, that's at 2,5, so that's raised considerably. So gear with healing effect actually works well on healers. Who'd have thought that? But it doesn't work on anyone who's receiving a heal. So if you've got gear on people and your tanks with healing effect, hoping to get a boost to the healing they're receiving, that isn't going to happen. You want HP for healing. Now the next thing we're going to do is swap a gear out and put... Um, it's all legendary stuff and it's just so I can have the same sort of equivalent stat on so naked legendary stuff or not rated up legendary stuff with the same main stats on across the board to have a what i believe to be a fairer reading i suppose um so she's now an attack percentage main stat again none of that was rolled up much the same as the other stuff wasn't rolled up but we'll see it as we roll it up later now i'm going to put them both in and see if her attack percentage healing is greater or less than her healing effect so i'm expecting her to heal less but we shall all see so the first things first the dragon will do his breath paladin will heal herself and hollow will heal herself so it's greater than she heals naked which we expect but it's not as good as the um the healing effect now the claws there there's paladin heal there's a hollow heal again not as good as the uh, the healing effect gear so Back to the healing effect gear, this is now rank 4, and we'll just have a quick look. There's the fire heal, that's greater still, and now for the claws, and that's gone up as well, as pretty much we expect. So here's a new set I've put onto hollow, it's just attack percentage stuff, uh, not attack percent, it's just crit rate stuff, I've got a crit rate just above 62%, and I don't know if you can crit heal on anyone. I haven't really, I haven't seen anywhere that says you can't. I haven't seen anywhere that says you should try and get some crit rate on your healers. So I thought we'll give it a whirl and see what happens. Um, and we'll just run the fight. We'll run it for a couple of minutes and see what happens. But we shall essentially expect her to go back to a normal, which is um, she'll be healing the Paladin for 1,915 unless we get a crit and she'll be healing herself for 1424 and we just wait for those heals to come through and as it happens at the moment we haven't had a crit and we still haven't had a crit now there is a chance that throughout this run that we never managed to crit but you'd think after this many heals that one of them would have crit you'd have thought i mean yes i'm aware that it's not actually possible or i'm aware that it's possible that it may not crit at any point but you'd have thought after the big breath and this number of attacks that they would have at least let off one crit so i don't think that you can crit you put crit gear on your healer and get a crit heal but if i'm going to run it run the test then we may as well find out aren't we all right thank you very much for your time um i'll see you tomorrow and i'll pull what few shards i've got whatever diamonds i've got loafing around and we'll just see what we get Nothing's bad for the account, I don't think. It's all good, and the game's quite good, and it doesn't take that long to play. Okay, thank you very much for your time. I'll see you all tomorrow. Bye.